this is the last final video I'm putting up of the day because listen, you can speak with so much and give all the information you want is up to the individual to change their life. Walking around here being racist towards one another, hate each other's guts. One of the most simple-minded things that when you realize, when you begin to grow here, intelligence, and you start to realize that you being ignorant to the simplest of your skin color, your hair texture, and when you dive in your research and find out how manipulation take place throughout generations and how fathers and mothers and sisters and brothers and cousins and uncles and, 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 and um, aunts can easily manipulate you by spearing out information, false information, and how religion can also do its damage. One minute you're talking about love everybody, and next you're that same person in your congregation will be talking about, don't mess with those black people, those dark-skinned blacks. You're supposed to be Christian. This is how deep this is. They believe in Jesus Christ so much that this white man is coming from the sky. But in the Bible, in Daniel chapter 10, verses 6, according to their story, Revelation chapter 1, verses 12 through 15, according to their story, the man is described supposed to be a melanated man. You hate dark-skinned people so much that you created a story and said this white man was covered from the sky. Tell me religion has not destroyed you. Using it and making up a story. Because you don't want to be around a dark-skinned black man. The original man. And then this, this lie has spread it out the world. But the world is recovering. Slowly but shortly is recovering. I'm not going to be here. You ain't going to be here. But we have a job to do. To teach our children. And free our children from the, Willie, the Willie Lynch slave syndrome. The mind is being destroyed and it's up to us to reconstruct it, rip it out of its, its core and take new information but old remedies, inject that into our children, children's children, so they will grow and understand the stories. The stories need to be told how things was manipulated even as I speak. This is why I tell you, get these documents. Hidden Colors for Religion of the White Supremacy. Get it because they have injected this information. Now you got people sitting up in here talking, don't be with the black man, don't be with the brown man, the lighter the better. But here is one thing that's insane. That black man can be an athlete worth a hundred million dollars, then you're gonna overlook his color. He is now your best friend. How sick is this shit? How sick is it? Cause he worth millions of dollars, so you think, in your mind, you can get part of that money. Sometimes you think you've seen it all. Sometimes you think you know it all. You can scratch one surface and you up to something else. Racism? Oh, it's deeper than that. We're talking about a level of bigotry that's um that surrounds our own people. Even though we're from different tribes. But you're gonna literally tell your children, oh, don't, don't, don't like, don't like black people. But let me, let me show you Carly B, um, part two of her interview. Over like Latinos using the N word and so forth like that. Like, what's your approach to that? Um, 
it's just it's something that like it's like a lingo like even if i want to stop saying it i really can't stop saying it like I'm, I'm sorry like it seems like it's something that is so normal which is bad but like it is what it is and if it comes to the fact that she's latina you know like i'm my my, my parents my my father's side we're spanish we're hispanic and everything but it's like where do them spanish people came from where them latina people came from they mix people, you know. We mix with with uh, African, European, uh, what is it, uh, mulatic, and everything. And it's just like, what, 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 what am I consider? And at the end of the day, like Latinos and Hispanic, they are considered a minority. Like you think, you think white folks see is uh, Hispanic and black people like. Like, oh, yeah, they're Hispanic. They're black. No, they're, we are all considered the same to them. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? You see, this is why I respect the woman. Not because she can sing and do a thing. She bring it to the table for real. See, she understand the concept. White folks don't look at you different because you speak Latin. No. She knows that Latin people are mixed. They come from two different groups of people. White and black Africans. Under the regime of when you get war and war and slave and all these things mixed together, the spoils of war, you want to get this concept of a whole new breed of people. You, you, you trying to divide, well, I, I'm not white or I'm not black or you get the other people talking about, well, I am white. I just, my father is white. But well, where's your mother? Well, my mother's African, but I really think she could be mixed with something else. Don't give me the bullshit. Because it's bullcrap. You just want to be difficult. But she explained it. Let's get back to the video. Some of you so ignorant is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Don't get praised by society as much as light skinned girls. Yes. It's true. Have you ever been to a have you ever been to a strip club in New York? It's kind of sad. Do you know that right now in the strip club in New York, the bartenders are the new thing right now. And if you notice, they don't even hire black bartenders in New York City strip clubs, which is sad. But why do you think that is? Because uh, I, I feel like people is having these fetish with these girls that they consider exotic, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel you. I mean, well, I think like America as a whole is getting more mixed. You know, you're starting to see more biracial kids and everything else like that. Yeah. You know, and, and I, actually, I think, I, I remember there was this really interesting interview from years ago. It was with Foxy Brown. And she said that before her, when you look at all the music videos, it was always the light-skinned chick, you know, the, the chick with the long curly hair and everything else like that. And once Foxy came out, Dudes was like, yeah, I want that bad dark-skinned bitch. Like, yeah. Like, you know, she sort of changed the way beauty was viewed in hip-hop. Yeah, I mean... It's just... It's just sad. I don't know what it is. I have... I have dated guys that they're black. And they have, they have told me, like, I don't date black girls. And it's like, I be telling them, but, but you're black, but your mom is black. You don't think that's weird? And then they tell me, well, you don't date Spanish guys, right? And I say, no, I don't. I date black guys. And it's like, so it's a preference thing, which is kind of like absurd to me. But then it's just like, I have a preference myself. No, I feel you. I mean, I, I mostly date black girls. I mean, although I've dated pretty much everything, but most of my long-term relationships were with black girls, and clearly I'm not black. Um, but, but you don't date Spanish guys at all. 
No. Do you have any idea why? I guess I like um first and first I like I like um dark complexion. And it seemed like every dark guy that I ever like <laughs> The African American or Jamaican. I don't even like people I think that like is my race. Just because I like to date people that are different from me. Like I like to date people that that are not like me. I like I like to I like their culture. I already know my culture. So I want something new to me. You know? If uh, I'll probably date a white person because I want to know more about their culture, but I'm not attractive to uh, light skin, you know? So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think everyone deserves their own preference, you know, but I think that once people say that. They don't, I, I, I don't, I don't, uh, you could have your own preference. You could have your own preference. It's okay. You could, you could like what you want to like, but don't ever feel like somebody is better than somebody else. Like, don't ever be like, oh, like, for example, if a guy was to say, like, I don't like, I don't like black girls because those are not my preference. Okay. But don't ever, don't ever make it seem like I don't like black girls because I think light skinned girls look better. Don't ever, don't ever be on some, like, somebody look better than somebody else because of a skin complexion. Well, well but isn't that what you're saying, though? If you're saying... I, I, I fuck with a certain type of person because that's my preference. But, but that's saying, my I, I, that person looks better to me. But, but it's not because it looks better. Cause um, don't make it seem like oh you're you're not a, like a lot of people be like you know I like, a, like an exotic girl I like a foreign girl so it's like what you're trying to say because I, I that, that's like me saying I don't think light skinned men are not exotic and foreign. You feel me? Yeah. I, I just like what I like. Don't I'm never gonna make a light skinned man feel like they less than a dark skinned guy because it's what I like. Yeah. Don't okay. ever make that I will never make them feel like they less beautiful than what I like. Yeah. Don't make well, she said it all in one nutshell. You got to respect that. She said it all in one nutshell. Don't be trying to say they're better than you. Or like, I, my preference is Spanish women. I've dated all kinds of females, but I know why I like Spanish women. But I'm not gonna sit there and say, well, you are better than her because of this and that. That's just stupid. See, I know who Spanish women are. I know who they are. Okay, the question is, do you know? And are you saying there go, I'm not gonna mess with you because you black. You too black. I'm not gonna mess with you because you too white looking. My aunt passed many years ago. If you would see my aunt, my aunt looked like she, uh, basically my aunt was Creole. She was very, she was so light. Matter of fact, she was lighter than my wife. Lighter than my wife, literally. With dark hair, with dark brown eyes. She was lighter than everybody in our family. Real talk. She passed, moved on to the next, next phase of life. Brothers and sisters, kings and queens, we gotta stop this. It's up to us to rechange how people view. The government ain't gonna change a goddamn thing. I mean, you see things on social media, TV shows and things like that. We see that. But in our own homes, in our own houses where we live, are you prejudiced to your own people? You think because you speak a different language, that makes a difference? But you still concentrating on the skin color and the hair texture of a human being? And then you're gonna tell your children who they shouldn't be with? Look in the mirror, the reflection of yourself. 
You hate yourself when you hate others and downgrade your own family members. Peace. Then all around the world.